What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. Check it out. We got an Arkanoid retrofitting to a God of Game. Got a call from a guy that I did an arcade for about a year ago. I did his Arkanoid. Looks way different than this one here. Basically, it's a friend of his. This doesn't work. They actually picked it up from the curb. And now basically we're just gonna convert it to a God of Game. Just plugged in, zero power to it. I'm gonna waste no time. We're gonna just gut this thing entirely and take it all out. Unfortunately, I mean, in all honesty, I could, I wanna kinda help and like restore this, but the glass on this already has like a pre-painted thing. It's not gonna work. The glass is gonna have to come out. The customers have to get their own glass. On this situation right here, I'll be honest, as far as what I'm charging the customer, I went cheap. My job was to only basically wire it um i'm now actually gonna have to drill the holes into the wood which i don't mind i'll do that um but that's all the agreement was was to at least get the god of game up and running as far as aesthetics i can't really do much as far as aesthetics so it's on him again this kind of business you know you gotta you gotta pay a certain fee so for me right now the fee that i'm charging is pretty on the low end but not in a bad way it's just all i have to do is hook up the buttons, the got a game, make sure it works. But we're also gonna to try to clean this up as much as I can. Really cool to kind of see like the spinner. An Arcanoid spinner, I believe, should be smooth. This is kind of, again, he pulled it out. Look at the screen. You do have burn in on the screen. I mean, you could literally see it. He literally grabbed it from the street. So take a look at the control panel. This is definitely not a Arcanoid cabinet. This is just. Maybe some makeshift redo. It's got the coin mechs. So we will try, we will put the coins to work. It looks like it takes tokens and not quarters. We're going to try it though. Uh, basically, again, we're just going to gut it. Take a look at the back of this. We're going to take the monitor out, the tube out. Um, I've never seen, honestly, this kind of setup. This does look like a DIY kind of setup. Not really DIY, but this is actually a Tato cabinet. Not really much on this besides the potato cabinet. There is a serial number on it. This does have wheels on it, so you could tilt it. Basic stuff. Once I plugged it in, maybe a fuse is bad. This, there's no lighting to it. The TV doesn't ignite. Again, it was on the curb. Really cool kind of hinge door. Look at that. Never seen that on an arcade cabinet. So a hinge door. Again, this does have one speaker. Pretty big speaker on it. But we're going to fix it up. Quick update. Totally gutted, removed the screen. Screen was really small. Screen was like maybe like a, I don't know, 15 inch? Again, burning on this. Some real burning on that, so that's all done. Take a look at the glass. I'm gonna try to take this out, but this is like a painted type of film. Hopefully this kind of scratches out. This is the cage that was holding the screen. I'm gonna actually put this back. All the wiring is all dead. Um, basically, I'm gonna put this back so now we can have the TV rest on this. So quick update, guys. Got the monitor in. We took out the old TV using the metal. Looks pretty good. It's not bolted down, though. Real quick, first thing I did, swapped out power supplies. Basically, what I do whenever I do these, I do keep everything in the cabinet. I'll be brutally honest, it's not that I'm lazy. It's just, you know, in case somebody ever wants to try to revive Arkanoid, it's there. We're also gonna throw back in the existing control panel and put it back here, just like what I do with Pac-Man. First thing I did, we put in the new power supply, tested it to make sure that there was juice coming out of this existing power, which there was. We then took our LCD monitor, cut the power, put it directly to that. So now our monitor our monitor has power once you plug it in. We're all set. Now we're up to the wood part. Customer made the wood. Um, I told him to cut it because that's not part of the deal, but the wood was not cut short enough. Had to go to the back. And luckily now he did have a chop saw. We got to cut. Got our measurements going on right now. I'm going to grab my drill press that I got in the car. I'm basically going to drill. So quick update guys. We got the control panel. Again, I had to use my Harbor Freight drill press. It's just a lot easier. Yes, it is a hobby grade drill press, but it does the job. If you notice real quick, I'm alone here. It's kind of like a garage space. 
the customer said he has all the tools so i didn't come with any tools besides my drill press and my wire strippers but he does have a whole arsenal of stuff that i'm able to use not that it's the great stuff but it does work so right now again control panel check that out not too bad we just have maybe like one small scuff mark on the control panel here but it's not too bad because the arcade trim the chrome trims it's gonna hide it so let's keep going slowly but surely getting everything done they got the control panel mounted and led buttons on this really cool again i got a guy from ebay not a guy it's not my guy but it's always a guy i frequently sell to um basically it's a got a game we've got two players i just did all the button configurations on it uh this does have one speaker already in it the company sends you out two more speakers this is set to free play right now so after we get into that it looks like player two is the coin to it but as you can see right now we're gonna load up of course street fighter it's on loud we're gonna lower it but real quick round one fight. oh can we do it one-handed i do it there it is one-handed that's it. One hand and I do it all day. Love it. Check it out. LED joysticks. Again, got a game. To exit out, you hold player one. And you exit. Again, speakers are loud. This does have a, a wheel on it that we could modify the sound. But again, just real quick to show you, I'm going to flip the camera. Basically, again, customer made the control panel, meaning he took a piece of wood and he cut it after you know a couple of working with it this is really why you know we kind of want vinyl on it but you kind of see a little bit you know once you start getting into the drilling you might get a little bit of a couple of scuffs on it check out like the ghetto rig i have no lighting here apparently you can kind of see like this is basically being held down by two screws and again, the screws are just there, you know what I mean? But we still have to kind of test out the screen. But at least right now, video works, buttons work. We're gonna work on the speakers and now we're gonna make the coin mech work. Okay guys, we're on final details mode. Again, control panel set. I put in a add credit secret button up here. This way. In case they ever wanna do it right now, it's set to coin play. In case they want to ever kind of sneak it up, you could get a free credit there. This apparently was taking, oh, it came from Chuck E. Cheese. This came from Chuck E. Cheese. So this is kind of like a shape of a quarter, but basically we also did Coin Mech Works. Again, this has 999 games in it. Again, I've had many Jamma board systems, but the God of Game always, always never fails. I have a customer that has this for about two years still working flawlessly and again great system two-player action on this again two players on this you can't do four players so as you can see tmnt is set to two-player mode on this as you can see we got our nice little Button set up right now. Got my butt kick. Basically, you could either this is set to hold down the menu. And exit. After three minutes, it will exit on its own. Again, all the way through, we have 156 pages worth of games. Holding the right stick to jump the page. Again, 999 games. This has Pac-Man, Galaga. It's got your main essentials. Strictly, again, arcade on this. In the beginning, they have all your fighting games. There are a couple of, like, duplicates, meaning, like, you know, see, like, there's a WF Stars J, which is the Japan version. Oh, this actually has 1,400 games. Wow. Got a game stepping it up, and they added the Mario Bros? What? That is new to me, ladies and gentlemen, 1,400 games. Last time it was 900, wow, must have upgraded it. I did notice that the input screen was a little bit different, but again, these are a lot of Japan 
Like you could see, anytime you see it ending with a J, MAME, Arcade, I mean, J is Japan. So a lot of these are the English ones, and then obviously you do have your Japan ones. There's a couple of Brazil ones, but we do have a couple of them. Look at this, Ghosts and Ghouls. But that last page, 1,400. I thought it was 900 games. The customer's gonna be happy. Can't go wrong with 1,400 games. So now this is the tough thing about this. Um, this right now, from what I got paid for, this is set. I'm ready to go. We even put the speakers up on this. So this does have stereo sound, double channel sound, basically. That's a new one. We kept the existing one. Again, kept the control panel here. As far as how I got paid, this is it. This was the agreement. He cut the piece of wood. I wired it up. This is set to go. Everything works. The customer now basically has to I mean, I'm gonna help him and try to help him with this, but this is a disaster. You do need a razor blade and try to take the black tint off of this. Um, he also has to do this. Unfortunately, there is a gap. You need to put a piece of wood here to cover the wires. That's not part of the agreement. Again, I hate to say it, but this is what I got paid for. This is what we do. Again, overall, pretty nice cabinet. It's a, it's one of those cabinets where basically after a year you could swap out the PCBs. Very unique hinge door on this. But basically once it's all said and done, that is it. One power cord still remains. And that is it. You could plug it in, take it off, turn it on, whatever they want to do. Again, I mean, listen, for the kids to play it, it's kind of in a garage, it's fine. But, you know, for me, honestly, I would rather, you know, lift this up a little bit. I could tell them to put a couple blocks of wood under it and hopefully they could lift it up a little bit, make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But unfortunately, again, agreement is an agreement and I got to stick by it.